hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video, it's super exciting. It is the booktube birthday tag. I am celebrating another booktube birthday. <laughs> super excited to be celebrating another year here on booktube and with this wonderful community so I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the questions because I do answer probably a lot of questions that you will have about me celebrating another booktube birthday so like for example the first one how many years on booktube this is year three for me uh, I started I posted my very first video July 2 2019 it's not a good video in a lot of my old videos are not good videos surprise surprise um so that was about three years ago now question two what has kept you motivated um honestly just reading books and wanting to talk about them that's what's what's motivated me a lot that i would continue to read books and continue to want to talk about them also just watching other booktubers have also you know motivated me to keep doing because they will come up with such fun creative videos and then I would want to try and put my own spin on it and coming up with just video ideas is something that has just been happening for me lately like I I've got this really cool video idea I think it's a really cool video idea and it's it should be going up later this month um, but it's something I've never seen anyone do before and I'm really excited for it and I hope it I hope it goes over well. I've just been inspired by books and by people and just in my own mind things have been coming to me so. Question number three. Three favorite videos that I have made. Um, this past year I would say some of my best videos or some of my favorite ones would be um, I did my come book shopping with me uh, spooky edition where basically kind of at the beginning of September end of August I did a come book shopping with me and it was the last big haul that I did before getting a book budget from my husband um, I think it's what inspired the book budget from from him but basically what I did was I set up this whole spooky reading extravaganza where every week for two months leading up to Halloween, I had a different theme for like spooky reading. So like I had vampires, werewolves, dark academia, thriller, witches, like ghosts. And I think there was like one more. And and I, I loved it. And but I needed to have books to read for it. So I went out and I did this huge haul and I bought my Halloween decorations and everything like that. Um, and it kind of kicked off this really fun project that I did just me by myself just for fun um, and I did vlogs each week and it was very entertaining and that also really got me it really picked up my pace of how many books I read because I went from reading a few books a month and doing only like a recent reads kind of video to after doing those vlogs like reading significantly more books in a month and actually being able to do monthly wrap-ups and having plenty of books to read so I liked that one um, I really liked uh, judging books by their covers uh, where I basically I had my husband choose some books that I have read um, for me to judge their covers because I had already read them so saying like whether or not I thought it was very fitting if I liked the cover or not things like that I would actually love to do another one of those maybe sometime this summer maybe okay not this summer because I am home with only like 15 books but uh, maybe like next fall when I come back um, I've been thinking about doing another one of those because I just had so much fun um, and then the third video that I did that I liked was different outfits for different genres I had felt very inspired by some of my clothing and so I kind of dressed up uh, for each genre and that was a lot of fun I'll have those linked up above or below so if you want to go back and watch them go ahead and can I very much enjoyed those uh, question number four what sh what is a struggle you had and how did you overcome it um I'm not a very social person person I am very introverted as most of us here are so making videos has been great because I am alone <laughs> but I've still struggled with finding a community here in that 
of like people I can actually talk to more one-on-one -on -one, like over social media like in an Instagram DM or um, like over Twitter or something I just still haven't connected with people to kind of create uh, a group that I can talk to about books more regularly or do something like start a book club um, I did however slightly overcome it with a readathon I actually hosted my first readathon that I created this past year in April it was the continuathon and it was all about uh, continuing and finishing series and that was a lot of fun I got to connect with some people and just since then I've gained just more subscribers and people who will comment on the videos which is a lot of fun and I love seeing those comments and being able to reply to them so I'm, I'm still kind of overcoming it a little bit I just really I just need to like step out of my shell and just talk to people <laughs> um, but so I'm working on it I'm working on it question number five a moment you would like to relive and why I would probably go with when I changed my channel so I so for those of you who don't know I actually used to be a reading warrior and that was my that was my YouTube handle that was my Instagram handle it was my Twitter it still is technically my Twitter it's a uh, warrior underscore reading technically um, and like I had a whole different like look to the channel and I decided to change it to Laura's little library because I wanted it to be a little more personal than a reading warrior I initially had ideas of like I was gonna create like a reading army but I just I just never like went through with that and so Laura's little library is just a little more like personal to me because now I say my name in every video which I never really revealed my name before that and I have this light pink kind of soft color that is kind of the main color scheme of my channel and I and I like that a lot more I think it's a little bit more fitting um, like it's just it's just more personal to me and I and I think that has been really good for the channel and I would want to relive it because it was so much fun redesigning everything and like redoing and like taking a new profile picture and just kind of giving it a makeover I'm happy with where it's at now like I'm not saying I'm going to change anything but um, it was a lot of fun to just kind of redo it and yeah question number six a uh, shout out to any big supporters and of course I have to give a shout out to Jane from at the bookaholic and you go from a scientist reading world they were my co-hosts for the continuathon in April and they have been so kind to help me figure out how to host a readathon and how to do a YouTube live stream which I can do and I want to do more of but I do not have the hardware to do so my computer can't take it so hopefully you know if I get a desktop or something a little more sturdier then I can actually do lives a little bit more regularly I would love to do reading sprints but yeah so I need to shout out those two for how much they've taught me question number seven the best book you've read this past year the best book that I've read this past year that I own is gonna be for the wolf and I've talked about this so much on my channel I love it so much it's a dark fantasy romance and it was just there for me it was exactly what I wanted when I needed it so the wilder book one book two has come out and I'm excited to read it question number eight where do you see your channel in a year I, I, I want this channel to be just a little more specified um, I have kind of been thinking about how how many different I read so many different genres like I read historical fiction I read uh, fantasy and thriller contemporary romance um, but I really want to kind of focus on the genres that I really love more and then do maybe some other videos on other genres but like I would I would love to just have a little bit more like I said community is kind of important to me so uh, maybe having something else community based having like a book club or doing like a monthly live show or just doing something that I can connect to more people more often um, and continuing I really have been trying to do more creative content so I've kind of fallen into I do a bullet journal video I do a wrap-up and I do a TBR at the beginning of the month 
and that's that's nice and I think some people like that but I I don't think that's necessarily what works best for me I'm still gonna continue doing monthly TBRs this year because I'm doing something leading up for an end of the year video um, but I think next year I'm gonna be a little bit more focused on the content that I enjoy hopefully something just a little more creative and different um, than what I have been doing so yeah you know we'll see uh, in a year I will be ready to be like moving in to a house hopefully for the first time <laughs> so uh, yeah it'll it'll be in a year it'll be crazy but it'll be like the start of a new chapter of my life and so hopefully the start of a new chapter in my channel anyway thank you all so much for watching this video I just can't believe it's been so long already uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up let me know if any of your content creators uh, I would love to follow and just create like community like I said I have book of social media down below like I have I have a uh, bookstagram and I have book Twitter and I have TikTok and Goodreads yeah I think they think that's it I think that that's all the main social media feel free to comment down below follow me like this video if you liked it I post videos on Sundays and Wednesdays um, so click subscribe to be notified and hit the bell uh, when those videos go up on Sundays and Wednesdays but until I see you all in the next video after being on here for three years uh, I wish you happy reading <laughs>